What's up, everybody? It's Greg Miller alongside the Mustachio Man, Anthony Gallegos. How are you, Anthony? I'm doing well, Greg. Hey, we're about to play Zombie Tycoon 2. How do you feel about that one? I have no idea how I feel about this. All right, yeah, Anthony's never played it. I played it at PAX, however, I just got multiplayer up and running. Now, here's the interesting thing, Anthony. What if I told you this game, cross-buy, cross-save, cross-play, and on top of that, it's this multiplayer game. I, I sent an invite to myself because it, it sees that you're on the Vita. Yeah, I'm holding Greg's Vita and playing. So we're both playing on the Game Over Greg account. So there you go. If you if you have some kind of annoying brother at home, you download this game. You got a game to play with them all the time. If you got a Vita and a PS3. So if you're if you're a rich child. Yeah, you got to um, join the game there. The bottom one. Now you can go through the whole rigmarole of selecting what monster you want to bring in. There's two sides to be on, either th this guy or Brainer off or whatever. I haven't kept up on the story. Game over Greggy versus game over Greg. How can this be? It's like alternate universes. It's the end of injustice. Ah, uh, but here we go. It's a, it's a little bit of that RTS kind of action. You, you excited for that? You I gonna move your cursor around, tell your characters where to go. I do like RTSs. All right, uh, I'll tell you right now. One of the goals here is that you're gonna want to take over houses and build up your zombie army of just walkers around. Okay. But eventually we got to get together and kill each other. Okay. Yeah, the thing is we're going after the mobile spawner. It looks like an RV. It, pl it can plant if you don't move it, and it'll bring out a little turret gun, and it'll spawn guys that die over time. Okay. I'm Here's the loading time, by the way. This is how we're, what we're dealing with. I'm yeah. on e my PS3. I'm Ethernet. in there. All right. You're over there on the Wi-Fi. Here we go. Destroy your opponent's mobile spawner. <laughs> I'm giving you this. But capture those houses, like I was telling you. They're important. Okay. So I've been told. Here's the thing I don't like about this game, Anthony. Okay. I played this game at PAX East. Had a ball. A lot of fun playing head-to-head. -head. I did, like, two matches, right? I was like, this is fun. I didn't I didn't know what to expect. Here I am having fun playing it. I okay. get the, the build here for review. I start playing that. And you know what I discover? Single player has nothing to do with it. Single player isn't this. Single player is like, hey, run around and do these little missions to kind of learn how to order troops around and stuff. But it's not hey, run around and do RTS kind of stuff and capture bases and do this and face off against another group. They try to put the story in there and all these goofy things that it's not. that's not what the game is. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I was totally bored playing single player. It's uh, eight or nine chapters. I don't have the trophies in front of me to tell you. It, it's all right, but I, I mean, I was bored. I did not want to play single player. I only wanted to play multiplayer. And that's say, and not saying that. I'm saying that having this be my first re review build multiplayer match. It's just one map from what I understand and what I learned at PAX. Here we are playing. So you can so you continue to get zombies from your mobile spawner. Right. You're eventually you see it down there in the in the left or I'm sorry, the right corner you see your characters and they have little boxes underneath them. That's right. showing you how many you have or maxed out. When okay. one of one of those dies, your mobile spawner will put them back out. Okay. Now as you're running around beating up these houses and taking them over, you will come on specialized buildings like I am doing right now as if we drew this up oh my god and I, that I believe once I capture this I think I can send my guys in there and they become a different kind of zombie and so by capturing buildings we're basically upping our ability to get more zombies no what the, well I think yeah what, what it's gonna do is that I can send my zombies in there and they will take on a special attribute of that place so like there's engineer zombies you can go make those engineer zombies will then you know be able to use their wrenches on certain areas of the, what's that certain areas of the the housing market, if you'll. Now, if you notice, I don't know why, but you killed my monster. My monster's dead, but if I tap X down there, I'm bringing him back quicker. Okay. There he is. He's back doing his thing now. Doing his thing. Straight up monster style. Here, we got these guys. I'm going to send some dudes in there. We're going to see what it's all about. And we're about to take it over now. So now we're and then we have special abilities, too. Right. I guess that's like on the D Right, pad. that's for your monster zombie. You're your monster. Like, I'm using the, the honey badger. Or the, I forget what they call them. It's some kind of funny badger line, or they think. All right, so now I've brought out these. Uh, see, I've ma my characters now on the square button are these, like, radioactive dudes. Okay. That have special abilities. Yeah. But, yeah, the, as you play and your monster beats things up, he'll start leveling up and bring out more of those abilities that are assigned to the D-pad. We're talking about what's down there in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Right. right I know you know. Now, see, now you got some. So I got some soldiers up here on my screen. That's clearly what must have killed my guy before. And so, when you take over a, b a building, it seems like it posts a couple of zombies out. Right. It, yeah. Like if you defense. see now, if you look at the top right corner, you see six out of six for me. For you, it's eight out of eight. That's showing the number of zombies in your horde. Okay. And what you can do is target areas and hit R1, and every one of those zombies will rush towards that pot spot, giving you like this super attack advantage. Okay. Oh shoot, that's redneck. I want to stay away from there. Can I go over these, these speed bumps? I forget. We're about to find out. Rednecks, the bane of every zombie. What? Well, it goes policeman, 
Um, so goes policeman, soldier, redneck. Okay. That's, that's the threat level they oppose to as you go. Here we are. I'm going to use one of my attacks from my badger. I did the roar there. He's really going to town, I guess. I don't even oh, know. man, I just ran into a redneck. That's bad news. I'm going to stay away. Now, if you hit L1, you get a view of the map. You can see what's up, what you're up against here. Maybe I went the wrong way. No, that's a dead end, too. All right, so I guess I got to go past this redneck. What I like about the wide view, Anthony, is you can stay in it and tell your people where to go. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. That way, if you don't want to be down here in the nitty-gritty, no, you don't have to. But you sure. don't have to worry then about things happening. I don't know what the cone of existence here on this redneck is. He doesn't seem to care that we're... Maybe we just march right by him. He won't give... He won't give him. Mm, yeah, I think I'm going to try and march by the redneck that's by me, too. Come on. Ah, uh, keep coming, guys. What are you doing? The mobile spawner can't make that turn. Oh, I see. I see what you're doing, mobile spawner. You're being smart. Okay. We're Sad. gonna find each other soon. Are we? Are you getting close? I think so. If you look down in the left corner of my screen, you see my 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 badger monster there as leveling up. He's getting that burrow ability. Pop out and kill some guys that way. Try to take over some more buildings. You think you're close to me, huh? I do. My monster's dead again. I'm missing something. I don't know what's happening. Some. Oh, right. The building itself will Attack. should be fighting back. Yeah. yeah. That must have been. It seems like there's probably survivors in there. Tossing junk out at me. Badge Zerker is back. Several monsters to play as in the game. Different things you can do there. Send in these zombies. Have them come out. Be cool. Ooh, come on. Come on. I see I'm tapping again the circle there to level up my, uh, or get these guys doing faster. Get them to come out of the boxing gym. Nice. Oh, wow, you have boxers now? Yeah. You better run for the hills, Anthony. I'm going to be in trouble. Hold on. I think I know where you're at. We're coming. <laughs> Me and my posse, we're rolling. Rolling deep. Hi, what are you thinking so far, Anthony? It's fun. I like the way that it's uh, it's simple enough that, I mean, you literally just control these four groups, and so yeah. it's really easy to tell them where to go. I think a lot of uh, console-focused RTSs sometimes lose sight of making it approachable. Right. No, that was the thing. I, I think when I got assigned this at PAX East to go see it, I was like, eh, like, okay, like, RTS really aren't my bag. You know what I mean? Like, I like them, but I'm more of a turn-based strategy. I like my Valkyria Chronicles. Sure. You know, I like to think. But this one, I like I was saying, I jumped in, I had a fun match. I was all set. I'm hoping that... Oh, there we go! It's on! Like a Donkey Kong! <laughs> Capture the flower building. Oh, mobile spawner run! I'm, I'm just sending the house, as they say. It's anarchy! It's pandemonium oh, in the gosh. streets! You walked right into it. Mobile spawner v mobile spawner. Oh no, this is oh, you're bad. Ba you're bad. You're still alive. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This no. It's, I think it's bad for me. Oh no, you're you're in worse trouble. I just ran though. I'm trying to. Yeah, but your monster's still alive, and it was attacking my spawner. So now I'm kiting you. That that sounds racist. Oh no, mobile spawner, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> Oh my gosh, your guy just burrowed through the whole floor. No, that's floor. still your dude. <laughs> we'll it's stand bad. nose to nose shooting at each other. Oh, the humanity. Oh no, mobile spawner, run. Oh shoot, yeah. oh shoot. I totally got caught up in what I was doing. Yeah. You ain't gangster. Get him, monster! You're all I got! <laughs> oh no. Oh no! <laughs> it's gonna come down to the wire. Your guy's right on top of me, too. Oh crap. You win. 
Yeah. Good job, Anthony. That was fun. All those PC baby games that I've been training <laughs> with for RTS for a long time. <laughs> I don't know how much it was that. I just. It was know. funny that that game was like so slow paced. We were like, take this house, take, and then we see each other. <laughs> and we're just like, <laughs> yeah, like that's the whole thing. Like, there's gonna be a strategy to this game when you get going. But yeah, we, we were pretty did. mindless. But yeah. I, I feel like yeah, there can be a lot of strategy to it. Yeah, right. It's fun. Like I like that, and that's what. The, and I wish that's what single player was, but single player is not that at all. And cool that it does support the cross platform play. Sure, exactly. And I the controls so. are virtually the same on the two. Like I'm not. I wasn't having to utilize touch screen or anything like nope. that. No, yeah. There's no forced any like things or compromises. I it's definitely cool. It's got it's cross save. Uh, so I mean, you down, you know, you save your you put your save on the cloud and bring it right back down through in game here. You just drop into options, and you would say, yeah, up oh, save to cloud, load load cloud. cloud. That'd nice. Be it. Yeah. So I mean, it's that's super nice. It's just that I find this this uh, single player story totally boring. Sure. That's what sucks. But I mean, it's cool that multiplayer is cool. But then again, now I I don't have this in front of me and off the top of my head. I believe there's only that one map, and things change around as ah. you go. So it's like. That's cool, but I wish they'd put more into, hey, you know, first off, the single player is going to be fun. It's going to do this, but then <laughs> lots of other stuff. But these guys all have their own abilities. Yeah, that cool. you're leveling up and going for. Bad jerker. Yeah, yeah. I like Bear Hug. I should have played as him. It's okay. Well, I think thank you so much for sitting down and playing some Zombie Oh, thanks, Greg. It's fun. I'm gonna have, I'll have the review up for you soon. Okay. You'll enjoy it. You'll know. But I think it's free for PlayStation Plus members, so. All right. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, for everything about cool PlayStation 3 and video games and video games in general, keep it here on IGN.